Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. And welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Or welcome back, 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 back. If you've been here before, this is ASMR Remedy and I make new ASMR content whenever my schedule allows. So I'm just sitting in my bed lo-fi, no mic, I'm just holding my phone. Um, I just got home from the movie theater, and I don't think I'll start doing this for every movie I go see, but I wanted to just do like a quick little review. I, every time I go to the movies, um, I usually come home and I go on YouTube and I just watch other people sit and review. Um, specifically like a little 10 minute like what other people thought it's so interesting to me and I've been watching a lot of those videos so I'm like why don't I just do that and I think one of my subscribers a few weeks ago or months ago suggested that I do like a video just reviewing like one movie at a time like a deeper dive I guess so anyways let's do that I still have my movie drink it still has ice in it somehow this is half diet coke half diet cherry vanilla coke you guys know i'm a dr pepper girly but this theater does not have dr pepper so i went with diet coke anyways anyways i just saw a quiet place day one so i immediately to me this is like a four four and a half stars It surprises me how much I liked this. I guess I was expecting just like your run of the mill jump scare. I saw the first A Quiet Place, I think in theaters when it first came out. And then I never saw the second one and I don't think I've seen the first one since. Um, but I really like Lupita Nyong'o. And that made me want to see this one, which is supposed to be the prequel. Um, so really quick, if you don't know, um, a Quiet Place is essentially the concept is that these like monster alien things sort of come out of nowhere and they attack anything when they hear sound. So everybody's very careful to be silent. But, you know, that doesn't always work out, right? Um, and so it's sort of like an apocalyptic horror jump scare type of vibe. This was so, to me, like, this was such a beautiful commentary on humanity and friendship. I, so I actually cried twice during this horror movie, which I was really not expecting. It's been a while since I've, like, cried watching a movie. And the friendship between, I think it's Sam and Eric, I think, are the two main characters. They only say their names once, I'm pretty sure. There's not very much dialogue in this film because you have to be kind of silent. Sam, Eric, and the cat, Frodo, which I'm such a cat person, you guys know. Um, so that was like really exciting for me, but Sam and Eric basically meet during this apocalypse. And again, they exchange very few words. But the amount of, like, just humanity and compassion that these two humans sort of show for each other, they immediately bond, and they kind of become, like, partners in this apocalyptic world, sort of, like, faring New York City together as, you know, there's monsters and death and destruction, and it was such a joy to watch. I felt so emotionally connected, again, to these characters who barely speak. They barely see them speak. They're in most of the dialogue for the entire film happens in the first 15 minutes. And it all takes place over three days. There's like pretty much no characters um, besides the main characters. And this, I don't want to like spoil i guess there's nothing to spoil i mean 
I can, here's what I will tell you. If you don't want to see any spoilers, click off. Nobody dies. Well, okay. Everybody dies. But, like, the main characters slash the cat do not die. Which I really liked, actually. Because it felt obvious from the beginning that someone was going to die. And people die, but, you know. Sam has cancer. She is, it seems that she's terminal and, like, could die any day. And so, sort of, this idea that Eric, who she randomly meets, you know, is willing to, like, help her and stay with her. And he doesn't really have anybody. And so she, you know, she knows the city. He doesn't. He is healthy and able-bodied. She is not. And so they sort of, like, team up together, take on this. And they are, are some really beautiful, just human connection moments, you know. He finds out that she's a writer and, you know, she shares memories that she had with her father before he died of the same cancer that she has. And, you know, they bond with this cat. It's just like listen there were also some really good jump scares i mean like and the entire like the intensity and the angst of the film the entire time i was watching i was like like i could i, I kept having to like unfurl my brow and like unclench my jaw it is constantly tense and it it goes from basically silent to very loud to silent to very loud there's almost no music or like background score at all, which I really appreciate the ability, especially in a horror film, to convey this like unsettling, um, just like a scary, eerie feeling without the assistance of a score, because I feel like usually that's kind of, especially with movies that have jump scares, um, the score tends to carry the film, I feel like. Not here. There is none. So, um, the chemistry of Lupita Nyong'o and I think his name's Josh Quint. Did I just make that up? It's something like that. They have really great chemistry. Um, I've seen him in a couple of things. I'd like to see him in more, honestly. I think he did a spectacular job in this. Um, again, the jump scares are good. You're really on the edge of your seat. It's a very thrilling, but that connection, that beautiful, like, friendship sort of element. Um, I liked that there was no romantic or sexual type of feeling, but it felt just as if not more like pure and connected and deep um this is definitely a film for someone who loves sorry my cat's being crazy this is definitely a film for someone who loves storytelling who loves character building i would say if you're looking for something um fast-paced that's constantly exciting. This might not be for you. There are a lot of periods of sort of silence where you're just sort of watching, taking it in, but I do think that the visuals and the audio are really stunning and add so much, or like the absence of sound adds so much to this story. Um, and they, these characters are just so human. You know, we see them being scared, we see them being angry, we see them you know, experiencing joy, and it's just, I, I just was not expecting this from A Quiet Place, from, you know, a, a horror trilogy. Um, now I really want to rewatch the original Quiet Place with Emily Blunt, John Krasinski, and then, is it them in the second Quiet Place? I'm not sure. But I really like this. I'm shocked. I wasn't expecting to love it this much. Um, definitely go see it. It literally just came out last week, but, um, go see it. Go see it. I really enjoyed it so much. So, anyways, that's my little, um, A Quiet Place day one. Day one, day one, day one. Day one review. If you guys like this, like, short form 
movie review kind of thing, let me know. And I'll do it every time I come home from the movies, for sure. So, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are staying safe, happy, and healthy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.